Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fine Fluency and I'm here this week with your second mini lesson and the topic of this week's mini lesson is numbers, okay, so los números en español hasta treinta y uno. So I swithered a little bit, good Scottish word for you there, swithered, uh, between doing months and numbers and days of the week so that we could put them together this week and be able to do dates and birthdays. However, when I was putting the lesson together, I actually decided that it was probably a bit too much all in a winner. We've got quite a few people in the group who are at the very, very beginning of their learning and know nothing in Spanish. And I just felt doing all of that in, in one go was probably a bit too much. Um, so I have decided just to concentrate on numbers to 31 this week. And then we'll do months and days of the week and birthdays and dates next week we'll bring it all together for you right so this week numbers up to 31 los numeros hasta 31 now i have also attached to the facebook group a little help sheet which has the numbers to 31 on it and i think it might be quite useful for some of you to have that handy when you're doing some of this lesson when you're going through some of the exercises in this lesson so if you haven't already got that I would suggest you go away, download that, maybe print it off or at least have it open when you're going through this video so that you've got it in front of you and it might give you a little help and a little steer for some of the exercises and activities in this lesson. Okay, empezamos. Empezamos. En esta lección vamos a aprender los números hasta 31. Lo que necesitas esta semana es un boli y papel, como siempre y el help sheet, okay? So I'm suggesting that you have a pen, un boli, y papel, and paper, um, and that you also maybe have to hand that help sheet that I just mentioned. So if you haven't done that, pause the lesson now, go away and get what you need, and come back to us. Okay, los números. So just starting with a little look at the numbers. What do they look like? What do they sound like? Quite a lot of people are, are familiar with one to five or uh, one to ten anyway. So let's get through these and maybe you could repetimos. Okay, we could repeat them in Spanish after me. So cero, zero, uno, one, dos, two, tres, three, cuatro, four, cinco, Five, seis, six, siete, seven, ocho, eight, nueve, and remember our b sound there, nine, and diez for ten. Okay, so let's just pause there and we'll go through them again in Spanish and you can maybe repeat them after me. So, cero, uno, dos, Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. One to ten are the ones that most people are familiar with when we start. So these should be revision probably for a lot of us. Okay. Moving on for 11 to 20 now. Okay. So after me, once, 11. Doce, twelve. Trece, thirteen. Catorce, fourteen. Quince, fifteen. Dieciséis, sixteen. Diecisiete, seventeen. Dieciocho, eighteen. Diecinueve, nineteen. And then veinte, or twenty. So we'll notice that we have sort of our own discrete numbers for 11 to 15. And then when we get to 16, it turns to 16, 17, and so on. So it's almost like 10 and 6, 10 and 7, 10 and 8, right? Um, until we get to 20, and obviously 20 is its own discrete number there. Um, you'll also notice that our 15, we've got 15, QU. So remember that QU sound, as we discussed last week, is a K sound. Um, let's just repeat them again. So, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, 
16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. You may also notice that the number 6, size, has no accent, but the number 16, 18 size, we have an accent on the size. That is purely because of where the size is in that word, 18 size, and it's telling us where to put the stress for the word. So when we say it, 18 size is where we're actually stressing the word. Because the word size on its own only has one, one um, actually a really little short word, we don't really need to know where we're putting the stress or the accent when we say it. Okay, but it's got one syllable, effectively, size. Whereas DFE size, much longer word, we need to know where we're putting that stress, and it's over the size. Okay? It's to do with the rules of pronunciation, but it's quite technical, and I'm not going to go, in, go into it in great detail at the moment. Okay, you just need to know that that's where we're putting the stress on that word. Okay, so possibly this is where you might need your little help sheet. So if you've gone away and done that, uh, then maybe have that out and have it to hand just now for this little bit. So, que numero es? Que numero es? What number is it? Right, so let's see if we can remember them. And if we can't remember them, then use your help sheet. And what I just want you to do here, I'm not going to be able to hear you. I don't know if you're getting this right or not. I just want you to practice saying the word for the number as it appears on the screen. Okay, so our first one, que numero es? We've got the number 16. So at this point, you should maybe be using your help sheet and just saying, dieci seis. Next one, que numero es? And I should be hearing, you should be saying, dieci ocho. Okay, next one, que numero es? Siete, si, sí? siete. Next one, que numero es? Quince is what we should be saying. Quince. Que numero es? Next one. Once. Once. Que numero es? Veinte. We should be hearing. Que numero es? Seis. Que numero es? Nueve. Okay, so they've appeared one by one. And just to get you practice them and, and getting, the, getting them recycled a little bit, okay? So that you're hearing them again and you're seeing them again, right? So I'm just going to go over them again, just briefly for you so that you can hear them. So we should have 16, 11, 20, 7, 9, 6, 18, 15, okay? Well done. Right, moving on. So we've done up to 20 there, and we now want to look at 21, really, to 31. And the reason we're doing to 31 is so that we can do dates and birthdays in Spanish. Okay, so you'll see here, for the 20s, we run the whole word together, right? So we have sort of 20 and 1 all together, and it's 20, you know, 21. 22, 22, and you'll see an accent there again, just to tell us that we're putting the stress on the dos part of the word. 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 26, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then we have 30 for 30. And then at 31, something funny happens. It doesn't happen at 21. We have 30 y uno as three separate discrete words there. Okay, so 30 y uno. Some of you may already know that the letter Y, which we're pronouncing as E there, we're not saying 30 y uno. Okay, which again, it's a bit like our muy thing, our moy and muy thing that I explained last week. So 30 y uno. It literally means 30 and 1. So that little letter Y, or the word E, actually means and in Spanish. And from the 30s upwards, that's how we do 31, 32, 33. And that's how when we come to do 40, they do 41, 42, 43. The 20s are the different one, and they run all together as one word. Okay? So let's just repeat them again, only doing the Spanish this time again, after me. 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, and again, it's down to you. You'll need to revise these yourself and go over them a good few times to get them to go into your head as it, as it, as it goes. To get something to really transfer from your short-term memory into your long-term memory, you're going to have to see it probably at least seven or eight times, right? So we're really relying on you, going away, looking over them, use the help sheet, revise them, recycle them yourselves, watch this video again. All right, okay, so... Let's have a little practice again. So again, this time they're going to sort of, numbers are going to appear on your screen at random and I just want you to try and say them out when you see them in Spanish. Okay, so say them out in Spanish when you see them. Again, use the help sheet to give you a hand with this, if you can. So we're recapping 20 to 31 here. Okay, so 25, how do we say that? We should be saying 25. Next one. We should be saying 28. This one, 22. This one, 20. Next one, 24. This one, 31. This one, 26. Next one, 27. Last one, a little rumble of thunder there, not sure if you can hear that one. This one, last one, 21. Well done if you got them right. Okay, so a little listening exercise, ejercicio uno, escuchamos, so listening. want you to write down the numbers that you hear in figures or as English words if you like. So I'm going to say eight words in Spanish, so it'll be numbers, okay? So eight numbers effectively in Spanish you're going to hear, and I want you to try and write them down in figures. Some of you may need the help sheet here, others might manage this totally fine on your own. Okay, have a go. And again, as usual, you hear them at least twice, I'll say each one at least twice, okay? So I'm going to say English number, in Spanish number, sorry, I'm going to say a number in Spanish, and you are going to write it down either as an English word, or as figures, okay? So, first one, number one, is 21. Number one, 21. Number two, 15. 15. Number three, 12. Doce. Number four. Cinco. Cinco. Number five. Veintisiete. Veintisiete. Number six. Treinta. Treinta. Number seven, dieciocho, dieciocho. And number eight, diez, diez. Okay, vamos a hacer las soluciones. Going to do answers for that, okay? If you feel like I'm going too fast through this, you can always pause the video in between each one. So number one, a little pause. Number two, a little pause. That's a great thing about learning like this. You don't have to go at my pace. You can basically go at your pace and pause it and restart it when you like. Okay, so feel free to do that. So soluciones, answers for a little exercise there. Number one, you should have 21 written down, 21. Number two, we should have 15, 15. Number three, we should have 12, 12. Number four, we should have five, cinco. Number five, we should have 27, 27. Number six, we should have 30, 30. Number seven, we should have 18, 18. 
And number eight, we should have 10 dieth. Okay, give yourself a little score out of eight if you like. Well done. If you've got five or six out of eight, that's pretty good going at this stage. So well done, especially if you've done it without the help sheet. All right. Okay, so next little exercise, traducimos en español. So this is really um, a little sort of writing exercise for you, right? I'm just going to give you eight numbers written down as figures, and I want you to try and write out the Spanish word for it, okay? So beside, as an example, beside number 123, you would write 23 in Spanish, okay? Number two is 31. How do we see that as a Spanish word? You could write that down. Number three, 19. How do we see that as a Spanish word? Write it down again. You may need the help sheet. You may want to challenge yourself and do this without the help sheet. So number three, 19. Or number three, como se dice en español? How do you say that in Spanish? Number five, seven. Can we write it down as a Spanish word? Number six, 28. Como se dice en español? How do we say it in Spanish? Number seven is 14. How do we say it in Spanish? Write it as a Spanish word. Number eight. Number two, how do we say it in Spanish? Can we write it as a Spanish word? Just going to give you a little pause. Check your answers, fill in gaps. Use the help sheet if you need to. Okay. And again, if you feel the need to pause it at this point to try and complete this exercise, then feel free to do so. So, las soluciones, answers to exercise to ejercicio dos. Traducimos en español, writing them out in Spanish as Spanish words. So, number one, 23, 23. Number two, 31, 30 y uno are three separate words. Number three, 19, 19. Number four was three or tres. Number five, siete, seven. Number six, 28, 28. Number seven, 14, 14. And number eight, dos, or number two. Okay, see how we've got on with them. Well done. It's not easy, this. Uh, generally, numbers one to 19, because they're kind of on their own, tend to be quite difficult. Once we've got one to 19, and then we can do 20, 30, 40, 50. It's actually quite easy as long as you know number one to nine. It's fairly straightforward. So, hoy hemos aprendido. What have we learned today? Today we have learned los números hasta 31. So, numbers up to 31 in Spanish. Okay, la próxima vez aprendemos. Next time, we're going to be doing los días de la semana y los meses para decir las fechas y los cumpleaños. So we're going to be looking at days and months to be able to say dates and birthdays next time, okay? Numbers are really, really useful for loads of different things, clearly in everyday life. We need them for time, we need them for quantities, we need them for prices and buying things. So we're just going to take it slowly, step by step. Start with numbers to 31 for dates, then we'll go up to probably 100 so that we can do ages and prices. And that's usually as far as I go for beginners, okay? Um, so if you know up to 100, though, you're doing pretty well and you can do most things that you need to be able to do on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So los deberes, just to finish off for you, um, homework, los deberes, what can you do? Just revise the numbers and know them well because we'll be using them next week. So make sure you're confident with these numbers for going into next week's lesson. We're doing dates. And maybe to try and learn the significant numbers in your life, right? So things like your door number, the numbers of people in your family, your age, the age of all your family and friends and things like that. Any practice that you can get using the numbers and use the little help sheet to help you revise the numbers that we've done today. 1 to 31, okay? Eh, buen trabajo, really good work today. Well done. 
and thank you very, very much for joining me today. Gracias y adiós.